Hello Virgo and welcome to your Aries New Moon card reading. So um, for this reading I will be using the Lightseer's Tarot as well as the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. Um, new moons are a time of beginnings. They're a great time to set intentions for what we would like to call in over the next few weeks. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. Um, it is accompanied by the spring equinox, the start of a new cycle. Um, Aries is a sign of independence, of assertiveness, of um, sometimes a little bit of aggressiveness and stubbornness. Um, but uh, Aries is a leader. You know, Aries likes to be in charge. Um, Aries doesn't have to be asked to take charge. Like they are more than willing to, you know, take the reins in any project or situation because of the cardinal energy of their sign. So as we um, come into this new moon in Aries cycle, this is a time of blossoming. This is a time of positive changes. And this is a time when a lot of us might feel um, called to step forward in a position of leadership, whether it's voluntary or in a job, um, as well as um, feeling pulled to take a little bit more assertive action or take more initiative if that's not the norm for you. So the first card that I pulled for you, Virgo, is the King of Wands. And so um, wands are about action. And so in this time, in this new moon cycle, you are going to be called forward to be a person of action, to take action more in your masculine, which might be like as far as like structure or management or organization or just really, um, you know, when I think of the masculine energies, it's just, it's like architecture, like, the details of how a building is constructed so that it's the most safe and most stable. Um, and so you are being called forward during this time to provide leadership through those masculine qualities that you have, like organization and um, uh, direction like guidance. You might be in a situation where people are not sure what to do and no one knows what to do. And so you're just going to take the lead and say, okay, we need to do this. Someone needs to go here, you call them. So that's the first card of your reading, Virgo. The next card that comes up is 10 of Wands. And so with this card, we see this woman and she's got her little ox She's carrying some stuff. She's actually carrying um, quite a bit of stuff in that suitcase that's hanging out. She's got these 10 wands in here. Um, and so the 10 of wands is a card that reminds us, well, it doesn't remind us, it asks us, where are we doing too much? Where are we carrying more than we can carry? Where are we taking on the things that are not ours to take on? Where are we bearing burdens that were never ours, but we allowed ourselves to feel obligated? So while you are being called forward to take action because of your natural, um, like the masculine characteristics that naturally innately are in you, you still need to guard against doing too much. Um, because while there's only one king in this picture, I mean, really there's two, the, the lion is the king of the jungle. Um, you know, don't allow yourself to believe that you have to do everything. You know, there's other people in the background that can help but you have to look around and see those things. So really caution, I, I really caution you against um, taking on too much, like doing too much during this new moon cycle. Um, it's a beautiful thing to step forward as a leader, um, to take the initiative to help, especially when people are scared, but by no means do you have to do all of this yourself. And the third card that came up for you was, oops, was the Six of Pentacles. And so this card is really like these two hands are juggling these pentacles, you know, they're juggling these coins. Um, there's a balance between the two. And six is really about like partnership. Um, it can be about love, but sometimes um, it, it's more about like the really deep, healthy partnership. So this can be business partnership. This can be friendship partnership. This can be relationship partnership, intimate partnership. Um, it, As you acknowledge that it is not your responsibility to carry everything and you look around to see who else has you know these qualities and traits that are needed what you will find is that another person comes in 
and they want to offer the, as much as you want to give. So there's a reciprocity that's happening here. So just know that while you're being called forward to take action, um, it's not your responsibility to do everything. And that in the times that you feel like it's your responsibility, you really need to just stop, take a pause, look around because that reciprocity and collaboration is there. You just have to be open to let that person in. So this is the other coming in to help. But if this hand was closed, they wouldn't receive these pentacles. So by you looking around to see where there are others that can help you, um, you are receiving that support and that partnership and that help. So that was your tarot reading. Um, the Oracle card that I chose for you, Virgo, is um, the number 21 card. And it says, beyond the mind, the heart beats. And so we can see there is this woman and she's very much kind of in her own mind um, but understanding that she's part of this cosmic universe you know that um, th like this DNA strand that flows into the stars and the bubbles everything is connected and so our mind tells us that we are separate you know but our hearts all beat the same way you know there's a heartbeat to the universe there's a heartbeat to the galaxy and when we really believe that we have to do it all ourselves, we are in the mind when we feel overwhelmed and we become open for assistance and help um, and we are receptive to support that's when we are operating out of the heart. And so during this time, um, I just really encourage you to be aware of that um, kind of whatever self-talk is coming up that's saying, okay, I have to do all this by myself and nobody else can do it and it's only me. Um, when that stuff comes up, you're very much in the mind. And this card is asking you to get beyond the mind, to tune into the heart, to tune into the connection. Um, because now is really a time that we need each other. We need that connection. We need that collaboration. We need that ability to work together because things are really kind of chaotic and crazy in the world right now. So Virgo, that was your new moon and Aries card reading. Um, I hope it resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm wishing you lots of um, health and positivity and strong immune system <laughs> and um, just wishing you the best during this time of uncertainty and um, just know that everything is happening the way that it needs to happen and whatever outcomes come from this that are different than we expected, they are really for our highest good, even though we can't see them right now. So those good things are coming for us. Um, these good things are coming for you with this new moon in Aries. And I just um, want to wish you a, gosh, just a happy new moon. I wanna wish you positivity and love and um, I will see you soon, bye.